Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Jackson Crawford, and you have runes on your phone whether you put them there or not, and whether you knew them or not. The Bluetooth symbol, which you can see on just about any smartphone and plenty of other devices like headphones and such, is actually a so-called bind rune, or combination of two runes into one symbol. What it consists of is the younger Futhark runes for H and B, standing for King Haraldr Blotton, or Bluetooth. Now, these are not necessarily the recognizable Elder Futhark runes that you see in most books about runes, because the Elder Futhark has a H rune that looks more like our, our H, whereas the younger Futhark has more of this uh, supernova-shaped uh, H. But what you do is you just take the column that's in the H and the B, use the same column for both, and then draw both runes together as one thing, and you get your HB bind rune for Herald Bluetooth. Now, my understanding is that the uh, uh, people at Intel who first uh, developed and marketed Bluetooth were fans of the uh, Longships series, and so knew of King Harald Bluetooth as a king who had unified Denmark, and since their system was unifying different uh, audio technologies with computers and phones and such, I don't really understand all the details of the science here, <laughs> uh, they compared it to Bluetooth and used his name for it. Now, Bluetooth is not like a last name in the sense that we would use it. Uh, it's not even a uh, patronym uh, in the sense that most Icelandic or Old Norse uh, quote, last names are. I said it's a nickname in the same way that you would talk about, like, Joe the Tall. Presumably King Haraldr, who was Haraldr Gorm's son, that's his patronym, he's the son of Gormr the Old, uh, had maybe a rotten tooth or something like that that appeared uh, blue or purple or violet. Any of those would be indicated by the color uh, blue or blore in Old Norse. Uh, there's a widespread misconception that uh, the blue or blore in Old Norse actually means black. Uh, I've dealt with uh, the fact that it probably really does fundamentally mean blue, both in my dissertation and in some published articles and in a video that you can find on my channel here. Uh, possibly it also was not a rotten tooth, but maybe a tooth that actually had some pigment or some kind of uh, deliberate ornamentation in it, like maybe some kind of stone implanted in it. We don't know if the Vikings practiced that kind of body modification. I tend to think that um, our body modification obsessed times tend to exaggerate how much the Vikings did that kind of thing. Uh, although we do know that, at least in England, some Vikings had um, their teeth sharpened artificially. So it's not impossible there would be some kind of modification to make the tooth deliberately blue one way or another. But in one sense or another sense, uh, King Harald de Gormson of Denmark, who also for a time claimed parts of Norway and uh, the shore of what in the present day is Poland, had uh, uh, some kind of distinctive tooth and uh, became known for it and remembered for it after his death. And uh, in a way that uh, even I don't fully understand, and he certainly wouldn't, <laughs> his name would become associated with the way that you listen to your tunes while you drive around, maybe in the great southwest like I'm doing right now. Well, I hope that if you enjoy these more than 600 videos on my channel about Norse language, myth, runes, Vikings, etc., you'll consider looking at my Patreon, which helps keep these videos going. And for now, from high up in beautiful Utah, let me wish you all the best.